Hello, lovely people of the world. I'm really excited today to bring you something that came in the mail in this big UPS box. It's quite large. And that is something I have been waiting for for over a year. I immediately knew what it was by the name of the Logistics Committee. Sorry, not Logistics Committee. I'm still trying to get out of nonprofit mode, guys. Fun again who are going out of business. And I know that this particular publisher has been having a lot of delays. It delivered first to Asia, because it was produced in China. And I know during production, COVID slowed it a bit, but it's finally here and I am super ecstatic. This is the first Kickstarter I ever backed you guys and it's finally here. Octopus's Garden. That is right. So we're gonna do an unboxing today. Pardon how messy I look. I just woke up and the first thing I did was get this out of the mailbox. <laughs> so let's unbox this thing. Okay, I had to go turn off the um, <laughs> the dryer. Sorry, I didn't even plug in the mic for the intro to this. So sorry if that <laughs> video is super crazy, but it's all part of my excitement. So it came in this big, huge box. Big fun again. And I love it says extremely urgent. So you know, I've been getting a lot of updates. Um, they do, I think it's every third Thursday updates. So at least, you know, the publisher was communicating. I think the publisher's, oh, Maple Games. And of course, designed by Roberta Taylor of Creature Comforts. So I discovered Creature Comforts after I backed this game. So that's just a lovely bit of serendipity there. The first thing I will note is this box is thinner than I was expecting. I was expecting more like a square small box kind of thing, similar to Calico or Cascadia. This is quite thin. So I guess we'll find out. I like, there's a nice little reflective sheen on the fish. Very pretty. I like the texture of this. It's very nice, very attractive, wonderful art. I'm sure this will be a very beautiful game. Okay, and I did, I believe I got some upgraded components. I can't remember if I got expansions with this or not. Well, there's some rolls. I got a little for clamped, but oh, this is expert modules. I guess these, oh, and there's French. Always good. Tout jardin supplémentaire. Oh, twit, Is that how you say octopus in French? I never remember these things. Expert modules, that's helpful. Something about treasure chests and boxer crabs. That sucks that they were so thin, they got kind of messed up. Ooh, look at the back of the box though, the inside of the lid. Very beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up putting this like up on the side while they play. If it'll stand, it will not. I'll have to back it up and get something, maybe this tripod for now. And of course, these beautiful octopus meeples. Oh, these are so good. I just love that I have octopus meeples now. These are adorable. Absolutely. Of course, I'll have to be playing as either yellow or purple. I mean, pink is the closest. But, you know, octopuses do come in a multitude of colors. I mean, mostly gray. Yes, yeah, so this plays four. Let's get these. are so cute. I love these. Oh, the detail's pretty nice. There's a little chip there, but that's okay. The others look pretty, pretty good. Oh my God, I love these little octopus meeples. They're so cute. And um, I guess these must be, I'm not quite sure what those are, but they're nice and chunky. I vaguely recall how this game is played from the playthroughs that all came out last January when this Kickstarter happened. That is something seashells of some kind and here's a nice little bag hmm I like that there's an octopus on it nice nice textured cloth it's like what is that polyester cotton blend maybe you know it's oh it's like kind of you can kind of see not quite see for it you can see for it a little bit just with the light probably would be able to see what the tiles are through that nice big okay there's a lot of things to punch out a nice big, uh, of course it comes en français, it's a Canadian publisher, and you know, everything has to be in French too, so maybe I will keep that. This is a short rule book. 
So that bodes either well or not well, depending on, um, I, as I recall, this is a fairly light rules overhead. Oh, those must be the pearls. These are pearls. Obviously they're not completely round because they have to lay flat on things, probably the board. So that makes sense. And there's a good amount of them. Oh, I guess we should check to make sure all the components are here. Well, rule book. One rule book, technically there's two, but you know, different languages. We had our draw bag. Okay. I'm not counting out all these pearls right now, but, but we do have our four, our four octopi. That's important. Allegedly there are player aids, oyster tiles. Okay. Let's uh, punch some of this out. Might as well. There's some octopus. Okay, and those must be the boxer crabs. They're in their little coconuts. Ooh, what's this? It's a big old oyster shell. Oh, and there's more tokens of pearls. Maybe those are the black pearls, specifically oyster pearls. Oh, and here are the boards you're going to be playing on. Very nice, very nice. Oh, art on the back. Not necessary, but nice. Yeah, they are thin. I knew from the playthroughs they'd be relatively thin, but for this game, I don't think that will particularly matter. This is one of those tile placement games where you're going to be potentially moving tiles around the board, as I recall. So that's all fine there. Oh, those these must be the treasure chests. And here's some trash. There is an ecological theme here where we might be um, having trash in our beautiful reef. And we're just going to punch out these lovely little pearl tokens. So I guess there's white pearls and black pearls. That's all good in the hood. Uh, these are cool. Do they, why are they so big, though? What are these for? Well, I guess I will find out when I learn the game. That is probably what will happen. It's a seahorsey and a little um, clownfish. That's fun seahorse all the sea creatures yeah well i'm gonna have a lot of sea themed games soon because aqua garden is allegedly the next kickstarter that's probably going to be fulfilling for me so i'm not mad about that though more big oysters more of these black pearls it says they're bonus pearls it just says 10 pearls so I'm not sure what the difference between all that is another board lovely color coded to your meeple of course and I love that you can fit it right on there that's awesome I just like little touches like that make all the difference here's more sea animals and I'm not sure if these are for something, but after accidentally discarding a component from Meadow, I'm not sure I really want to do that. There's a little lionfish. There's some scuba guys, more boxer crabs, some rainbow looking fish, some sharks, more treasure. So as you can see, a lot of round tiles. So this will be interesting round tiles. Um, I am very excited to try this game out. And I'm going to save these for now to let, and make sure that those aren't components that I need to be worrying about. Why don't we just start putting some of these tiles in the back? Because I'm pretty sure these are all the garden tiles in, you know, Octopus's garden. It says 106, each with their cost in pearls and the amount of beauty points they are worth at the end of the game. So that must be all these because they all have numbers on them. And I guess the black pearls are for beauty. Not sure what the white pearls are for then. What's going on there? But again, I'll find out when I play the game. I love this art. I love this aesthetic. I love this color palette. It's very soothing to me. More clownfish. I guess these, are these bonuses? Are these garden tiles too? They must be, I guess. Not sure what's going on with those, but they're all going in the bag right now until I um, figure it out. I can always do more sorting later. 
Um, this is you just sitting here and watching me. Up. Look at these beautiful flowers, though. Ooh, I love the combination of the purple and the blue. Oh, these are anemones, but, you know, anemones are living organisms, cellular organisms. Not to be confused with plants. I mean, plants are cellular organisms, but, like, anemones are actual animals and not plants because they don't, they are actually uh, filter feeders. They do not engage in photosynthesis. Oh, and here's Rich. Oh, look, and he's brought a vacuum cleaner, too. That's helpful. And your lunch. Yes, baby. We'll put those pearls over there. Just a little game organization. Ugh. Oh. Oh, this makes me so happy that this finally came. I've been waiting four months for this. Well, technically, I've been waiting over a year because I backed this last January. This is the first Kickstarter I ever backed. Did you know that? No, oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. Look at these big old like oyster tiles. I think these are, you use them for something, to hold things, probably. They must be for holding components in some way. I just love the purple. Love this art. Oh, this is some kind of scoreboard. This is a scoreboard. I guess it starts off as the market and then you flip it over at the end and it becomes the scoreboard. This is from Roberta Taylor. So maybe we'll play it on Friday. Our designer friend John is coming over. We're meeting his girlfriend. So maybe um, this, this would be maybe a good one. If we learn it and play it before that. How many does it play? Four. So I will say, as far as production quality things goes, I know they had a couple of production issues, but this is probably one of the easiest punch out boards I've ever done. All I have to do is tap it and it comes out perfectly. So kudos to whoever manufactured this in China. Okay, as you can tell, there are a lot of tiles in here. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, I don't know if I got the expansion content that comes with this or if it was just one of the stretch goals. I know there is some of this stuff that you use in certain advanced variants of the game, but I will discover that when I learn and play it. This is just for you guys to see these beautiful tiles. Here's some seahorses and some seaweed. Some little oysters peeking open, like, hello, peekaboo, I have a pearl inside here for you. Except they're negative, too, for some reason. So, oh, maybe the black pearls are bad and the white pearls are good. Maybe? Not sure. I mean, in reality, black pearls are more rare than white pearls, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rich agrees with me. That's him over there, a green. And again, these are kind of thin, but I don't mind it so much in this because it's really you know it's displaying the art and they're not like you know like i said they came out real clean so i don't really care about these being kind of thin they're kind of like god they kind of remind me of wafer chips a little bit you know bless me father for i have sinned <laughs> that's kind of like that's kind of the vibe that these 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 little circular tiles are giving me I've never played a game of circular tiles so this will be interesting okay more of the same I feel like well I know the trash is part of the base game I don't know maybe the treasure is too I know the shell I know these hermit crabs are though because the hermit crabs move across the board as I recall and they can like turn the trash into their little houses so there's a little bit of a ecological theme going on there, you know. You ever seen those videos of like the hermit crabs that are like they instead of a shell, they like found like some metal can they've turned into a shell. It's all about finding a snug fit. You know, because that's what they do. They don't grow their own shells, they basically just use the dead carcasses of other things shells or don't they like they go into the mollusk they eat whatever's living inside it to hollow it out for them 
and then they just basically walk around wearing their corpse. Because nature, of the, ocean. the horrors of the oceans, right? Well, this is more like in the reef, you know, octopuses live close to reefs or in shallower parts of the ocean, right? I think squids live more deep sea because octopuses are like, I mean, yeah, they're swimmers, but they, you know, they like, they're more bottom feeders, I think. Okay, there's all that. It's all going to this beautiful cloth bag. And I think, wow, this is a lot of, well, you know, it's a certain amount of punching out. It seems like a lot of tiles that I'm going to have to count all this. I hope I don't have to separate this out. I hope it's like other tile placement games we have where they can just live in this bag. That would be awesome. And I think, oh, there's that seahorse. And I think we just have a couple more player boards. And that's it, as far as I can tell. So it, I see why it's set then now, because yeah, so you have the four player boards, your little market board slash scoreboard goes in there. I assume this is maybe where we hold pearl, pearls or bonuses of other types. We have some pearls and I'll, mm, I wish they'd given me a baggie for the other the pearl tokens. Maybe they go in the main bag. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I think this this should all, and you probably would flatten this bag out a little bit. Yeah, this should all fit quite snugly in here. So kudos to them. That's why it's so thin. Yeah, Octopus's Garden. Okay. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint. Yeah, so that's Octopus's Garden. I'm going to hold it up. Mmm, so beautiful. Are you excited Hi. for this game? Yes, I'm very excited. Oh, you my know, God, One of our beautiful. new favorite designers. So is this so crazy that I backed this game before I even knew what Creature Comforts was? <laughs> now it has come. I think you'll like this game. It's I a think I will too. tile I'll placement like game. It's yeah, anything to do with the ocean. It's supposed to be pretty puzzly too. So I'm very excited yeah. for this. Um, Jamie and Jeff covered it way back over a year ago. So oh, wow. uh, that's how I found out about it. So thank you to my Canadian content creator friends who turned me on to this Kickstarter campaign. And I am very, very excited to try this out. For anyone else that's still waiting for their copy that lives in the continental U.S., it's coming. <laughs> if you like content like this, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, ding, and always. You do the first line. Be gay. Do crime. Don't get caught. And get, get gay, gay men. men.